The COVID pandemic made the child care crisis in Minnesota even worse, but under a new proposal, providers could get millions of dollars of additional help from the state. Care 11's Lauren Lemanchek has been following this issue and digs into if this money will reach those left out of the first rounds of funding. It's been a struggle, I think, for a, a large amount of us. Child care providers stayed open because families needed them. All seven of my kids are essential workers. But it's come at a cost. Many parents pulled their kids out. They Costs like, for smaller oh. class sizes, sanitation, and staffing at centers went through the roof. By mid-March, we were down um, only to a quarter of our, our children, and we struggled. We're putting our families in jeopardy by having multiple children, multiple families into our home every single day. The state has already allocated $40 million over three rounds of funding to help child care providers stay open. But CARE 11 discovered the state vastly underestimated the need and many providers were left out even as they cared for kids of essential workers. It's not making a lot of sense. Julie Seidel of Andover was denied in the first two rounds, but received aid in the most recent. It was a huge relief. Now as child care providers say they're in danger of closing, Governor Walls is proposing another infusion of cash. $56.6 million spread out among thousands of providers. Family providers could get up to $1,200 per month. Centers up to $8,500 per month. The child care situation was at a crisis point before COVID in Minnesota and across the country. But what these grants are meant to do is to offset the added cost of the protections in these child care centers. The proposal still needs legislative approval. For Julie, it's a relief. She hopes the money gets distributed to all of the small businesses that need it most before it's too late. We need it all across the state. Parents need to have that option. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm Lauren Lemanchek.